Hi, assalamu alaikum and a very good morning everyone. How are you today? I hope you're all fine. So today, Miss Fazina is going to share with you a short story entitled The King of Kites. Are you ready? Yes, can you please take out your The King of Kites book? Firstly, let's get to know the features of the book. All right. The features means chiri chiri. Okay. The first feature is the title of the book. What is the title of the book? Yes, the king of kites. Title means tajo. The next one is a character. Character means the people who is in the story. It is illustrated at the front page, the cover page. The second one, the third one, sorry, is the author. The author of the book are Judith Hannigan and Law Fonia. Okay, so this is the front cover. Front cover. Front cover means muka surat ataupun kulit hadapan. Let's go to the next one, the first page. So let's open the first page. Aha! Uh -huh. Can you see the first page? Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia? Yes. We are focusing on the publisher. The publisher means the one who produced the book. Orang yang keluarkan buku. And these are the name of the illustrator. Orang yang melukis, illustrate the pictures in the book. And last one is the back cover. The back cover means um, kulit belakang. Okay, what's, what's on that? Yes, a synopsis. Synopsis means the summary. Summary ataupun cerita kesimpulan, uh, rumusan tentang cerita dalam buku secara pendek. All right. So now, are you ready to read the book together with me? Yes, that's good. I can't wait to read the book with you. So let's open the book together. The first page. Read after me. Anil knew about kites. He knew how to make them out of paper sticks and glue. Anil is the name of the boy. This is Anil, the character in the book. New, past tense of no, tahu, about kite, tentang layang-layang. What is the meaning of kite? Yes, layang-layang. He knew, dia tahu how to make, macam mana nak buat them, mereka, out of paper, daripada kertas, sticks, um, stick kayu, and glue, dan juga gum. He knew how to fly them in the sky above the village. Dia juga tahu macam mana nak me menerbangkan Layang-layang tersebut di atas langit yang nampak atas over the village, kampung tersebut. Okay, let's go to the next page. The other children, tak kanak lain, brought him, berikan dia, bawakan dia, their broken kites to mend. Layang-layang uh, yang rosak untuk dibaiki. Mend to baiki. And all, was the king of kites. Enel adalah king. What is the meaning of king? Yes, raja. Of kite. What is the meaning of kite? Layang-layang. That's good. Let's go to the next page. Enel's mother knew how to sew. Enel's mother ni tahu macam mana hendak menjahit. She knew how to cut cloth and stitch. 
Kita tahu macam mana nak menggunting kain dan juga menjahit. Seams. Stitch seams. She knew how to work beautiful patterns in bright silk. Dia juga tahu macam mana nak bekerja dengan uh, sutera dan juga sutera-sutera uh, yang berwarna terang. The other woman brought her their old clothes to mend. Dan wanita-wanita lain juga bawakan mak dia ni baju-baju um, yang lama untuk dibaiki. She was the queen of needle. Mak pada Anel ni is the queen for my suri. What is queen? For my suri of needles. Jarum jahit. Maksudnya dia pandai menjahit. So let's go to the next one. Every morning, setiap pagi, Anel and his mother, Anel dan juga mak dia, sat down in a corner of the yard. Duduk, duduk. Dekat satu corner. Halaman. Anil's mother had everything she needed. Anil's mother ni ada semua benda dan yang dia nak. Folds of fabric. Fabric ni kain. Reels of thread and a pot of shiny new pins. Ada thread. Thread tu benang. Shiny new pins. Ada pin ataupun jarum-jarum dan cucuk tu kan. Untuk jahit tu yang ada. Asalnya ada bulat-bulat warna-warni tu. New pins. Okay. She set to work and soon her needle flew. Dia dah set ready ya. Untuk kerja. Dan selepas sebut. Her needle flew. Bukan needle tu, tu flew berterbangan. Tak. Maksudnya dia work very fast. Yes. Then let's let's go and have a look to the next page. Anil too had everything he needed. Sheets of paper, spools of string and a pot of good strong glue. Anil juga ada macam-macam yang dia nak. Seperti um, kertas, Uh, tali dan juga um, glue atau gum. He set to work and soon his fingers flew. Macam mak dia juga. Dia dah ready untuk work, untuk bekerja dan seterusnya jari dia pun berterbangan ataupun cepatlah. Not flew. Flew tu berasal daripada perkataan fly. It's the past tense. Of fly. Okay, let's go to the next page. Then, one day, dan satu hari, Anil heard about a wedding in the village. Anil dengar tentang satu uh, majlis kahwin dalam kampung tersebut. I shall make twelve kites and fly them at all at once in honor of the bride. Saya akan buat Dua belas layang-layang untuk diterbangkan sebagai satu penghormatan kepada pengantin. Said Anil to his friends. Dia beritahu kawan, kawan dia. I shall cover them with sequins and give them tails of bright ribbon. Saya akan tutup dan cover dengan sequin. Do you know what? Uh, the sequins? Yes. Labuci-labuci yang berkilat-kilat tu. Ya, ada dekat baju mak awak, kan? Okay, dihias untuk pagi. Cantik dan colourful atau bright ribbons. Uh, ribbon ribbon yang berwarna-warni dan berka, uh, berwarna terang. Hmm. He sat down in the shade and sat to work. Dia pun duduk bawah pokok dan mula bekerja. Later, but Anna's mother was not pleased. Anna's mother ni tak suka. Okay, dia tak suka um, uh, benda ni berlaku. I shall have extra shirts and saris to store for the wedding. 
saya nak um, tak guna baju lagi banyak dan sari nak buat bab sari lagi untuk dijahit uh, sempena uh, wedding tu ataupun wedding tu apa maksud dia perkahwin perkahwinan so wedding tu perkahwinan so mak dia pun nak prepare macam-macam jugalah untuk dia dijahit she cried dia menjerit you don't have time for kites awak tak ada masa dah untuk layang layang anal I need your help. Uh, saya perlukan bantuan awak. I need your help. Dia kata. Okay. Um, and I need your sequins and your ribbon. Saya nak awak punya sequins. Uh, yang saya cakap lah. Buci yang, yang kilat-kilat tu. And your ribbons. Dan ribbon. Ribbon yang dia kata dia nak buat kait sendiri. Mak dia nak. Okay. The mother wants that. It was true. Yeah, betul. The whole village wanted new clothes for the wedding. Okay. Uh, semua orang kampung. The whole village. Village tu kampung. Orang kampung lah dia merujuk. Wanted new clothes for the wedding. Nak kan? Um, Baju-baju baru lah. Kan? Nak pergi ke dua kahwin. Isn't it? Anna's mother sat down in the shade and set to work. Anna's punya mak pun duduklah dekat bawah pokok. Shade tu macam teduhan. So, this is referring to the tree. And set to work. Dan mula bekerja. Macam set is like start to work. All day long, she cut and sawed and stitched. Dia sepanjang hari, dia duduk motong, duduk menjahit. Motong, menjahit. Okay? I need more cloth, she cried. Saya nak kain lagi. Ha, mak dia jerit. And Anil ran straight to the market. Anil pun terus lari. Ran to pastel kepada run. Semua cerita, apabila di, diceritakan semula, dia akan guna past, past tense. To the market. Dia pun terus berlari pergi ke market. Nak beli ha, yang mak dia nak tu. I need more thread. Saya perlukan lagi benang. Thread mean, means benang. She cried. And back he went again. Ha, tadi dia, ber, uh, dia pergi pasar, pergi beli kain. Dia lari pergi. Lepas tu mak dia kata, nak benang pula. And then he went back to the market. Okay. Anil called his friend. Where are the 12 new kites for the wedding? Mana 12 new kites yang awak cakap tu kan? Untuk the wedding tu. Anna did not answer. Anna tak jawab pun. His mother had cut up his kite paper for the sari patterns. Mak dia dah gunting kertas yang dia nak buat tu untuk buat pattern sari. Uh, sebabnya nak buat sesuatu tu Kena ada pattern untuk kan jahit Akan guna macam kertas okay, Untuk buat pattern uh, Sebelum gunting uh, kain She had used his string When she ran out of thread Dan dia dah guna String Tali kain tu Yang nipis tu Sebagai benang untuk menjah menjahit By nightfall, all the new clothes were ready. Okay. Pada uh, waktu malam, uh, semua baju-baju baru tu dah sedia. Okay. But Anil felt sad. Tapi Anil still sangat sedih. How could he go to the wedding without the kites? Macam mana dia nak pergi wedding tanpa layang? Layang. Without means tanpa. With, dengan, without, tanpa. Tidak dengan lah. Bukan dengan. Anil's friend saw that he was sad. Anil's friend pun tengoklah. Oh sedih kawan ni. They had not forgotten his promise to fly kites at the wedding. Dia, mereka semua tak lupa apa yang Anil dah janji untuk buat dekat wedding tu.
What was the promise again? Yes, he said he wanted to fly 12 kites during the wedding. Yes. When Annals woke up the next morning, apabila Anna bangun pagi tu, 12 kites lay on the ground. 12 kites tu ada atas tanah, outside the house. Okay, di luar rumah. The kites had he had made for his friends long ago. Semua kite ni dia dah pernah buat untuk kawan-kawan dia lama dulu. Okay. So what's next? Quick, cepat, said his mother. Uh, bagi tahu mak dia kata, I saved a few sequins. Saya simpan uh, beberapa sequins. Okay, tu yang labu ci tadi kan? And one roll of ribbon dan satu roll ribbon. Fetch my needles. Ambil needle saya. Okay, needle tu dah jarum. Fetch the glue. Ambil uh, glue. What is glue? Yes, gum. And his mother helped him to decorate the kites. And his mother pun cepat-cepat tolong dia untuk decorate ataupun menghias. Decorate tu menghi, menghias. We have learned in celebration topic. Uh, menghias. Layang-layang uh, tu. At the wedding, apabila tiba hari perkahwinan, Everyone praised Annel's mother for her teaching. Semua orang puji Annel's mother punya jahitan. Wah, oh, cantiknya, cantiknya. Kan, baju awak ni. Ya, kan. She was the queen of needles. Mak dia ni memang queen of needle. Okay, orang yang hebatlah dalam jahitan. And everyone admired Annel's 12 beautiful kites flying high in the sky. Dan semua orang admire, teruja dan sangat kagum dengan Annals punya 12 kites. Ha, 12 layang-layang yang dia fly up in the sky. Annals thanks his friends for giving him their kites. Annals pun berterima kasih kepada kawan-kawan dia sebab bagi dia kites. They laughed. Mereka ketawa. Laugh ada ED, past tense, semua past tense. And lifted him up onto their shoulders. Dan uh, dia orang ketawa dan angkat. Lift tu angkat. Macam awak naik lift. Uh, lift tu angkat. Uh, okay. Angkat uh, anal tu into their shoulder. Atas uh, bahu dia. Bahu mereka. You make them for us, Anel. Awak yang buat untuk kami tu, Anel. They shouted. Mereka jerit. You are the king of kites. Awak adalah raja layang. Layang. Yes. The end. Habis. Okay, how's the story? Uh, best tak story tu? Ya, sangat best kan? So, let's go to the summary. Kita belajar synopsis of the King of Kites. Synopsis ni macam apa yang awak faham rentetan dia dalam story ini. Okay. Okay, there are a few sentences. Okay, which one is the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and seventh? Can you give me the answer? Which one is the first one? Try to think. Okay, here are the answers. The first one is, Enel is good at making kite. His friend called him the king of kites. Number two, Anna's mother is a great seamstress. She sewed beautiful clothes for the woman in the village. One day, Anna heard about the wedding to be held in town. He promised to make and fly 12 kites at the wedding. Number four, however, Anna's mother was busy sewing clothes for the wedding and needed Anna's help. 
Enel had to go to the shop to buy supplies for his mother. He was sad because he had no time to make the kite. On the morning of the wedding, Enel woke up to find 12 kites from his friends at his doorsteps. At the wedding, Enel proudly flew the kites with the help of his friends. Both Enel and mother were praised because of their splendid job. Semua orang puji mother dengan Enel sebab dia orang punya uh, pekerjaan yang ba- bagus sekali. Okay, let's uh, go to the characters. Characters ni apa? Orang and characteristic dan sifat-sifat orang itu. Okay, who are the characters? And the main characters in the story are Anel and Anel's mother. Okay, ada dua orang. Character. Character ni orang lah yang terlibat. Okay. We use adjective to describe a person. Adjective ni sifat. Sifat benda refer to itu if you are not sure about that. For example, we have appearance. Okay. Appearance ni um, uh, apa physical dia ya. Fizikal yang awak nampak uh, tentang seseorang ke, okay, positive personality, uh, apa yang uh, uh, positifnya, kan? Okay, and then we have negative personality, size, condition, shape, bulat ke, hot ke, size small ke, big ke, value, beautiful ke, smart ke, color, red or blue. Okay, these are the adjective. Sifat ben, benda. Sifat benda ni adalah adjective. So, kita describe character dengan characteris, characteristic. So, Enel, I think he's, he's a clever boy. Okay, saya rasa Enel ni dia seorang yang cerdik. Sebab apa? Because he can finish up the kite. And Enel's mother is a talented woman. Okay, these are the characteristics of Enel. Clever, helpful, humble, uh, thoughtful and talented. Clever tu cerdik, helpful tu suka menolong, humble tu rendah diri, thoughtful ingat ke orang, talented tu sangat, uh, talented lah ada skill buat tu. Okay, the mother is also talented, ada skill buat tu, terror lah, hebat dalam satu perkara. Hardworking, rajin, helpful, uh, Suka membantu kain